Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create sticky mobile bottom menu bar. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the mobile sticky bar, first of all we have to install the plugin. So let's click on the add new here. And here we have to search for the mobile bottom menu. As you can see the plugin at the top of the search here, WP mobile bottom menu. So I have already installed this. All you need to do is to install this and click on the activate. And after the activation, let's just go inside our website. And here, first of all, we have to get the mobile view. So let's just click on inspect. Now you can see this, we have this mobile view on our website. All right, so as you can see here, we don't have any mobile bottom menu. So let's go back. And from here, let's just click on the WP BNAV settings. All right, so now what we need to do, let's just click on the menus. And from here, what you need to do, you just have to check the value of BNAV bottom menu that you can see here. So let's check this. Click on the same menu. And let's just go back to our website. Click on the refresh. Now you will be able to see the mobile bottom menu. Okay, so as you can see here, so this is it. So let's just go back. And let's just click on the WP BNAV. And now let's just export the setting of the mobile bottom menu. Alright, so the first thing is the breakpoint. And the second thing is the Z index. So you can add the value of the Z index. And then we have the background type. So the default value of the background type is the background color. So you can change the value to the gradient and the background image. And after that, we have the blur and we have the border and we have the border radius. So let's just add the border here. So that would be 10 px. It would be 10 as well. All right. So now we have to select the color. So I would actually like to go with a white color. So let's click on the save, go back to our website, click on the refresh and you will be able to see the border here. Okay. And in a similar way, you can add the border radius. So let's just try to add the value here in our border radius. Okay. So it would be 5 px on each side. So let's click on the save, go back, refresh it. You will be able to see the change in the border radius here. So let's go back and in a similar way, we can add the shadows, margin and the padding. So now let's just try to add the shadows here. It would be 50 px, blur would be 20 px, and spread would be 40 px. I would like to go with kind of grayish color. This would work fine. All right, so I actually need to remove the border. So this would be none. Okay, so we have removed the value of the border and the border radius, and we have added the shadow here. So let's click on the save. And let's just go back to our website, click on the refresh. Now you will be able to see the shadow here, but I think I have to change the color a bit darker here. So that will be the black color. Click on the save, let's just go back. And now you can see this, we have this shadow right now that you can see here. All right, so this is how it works. All right, so now we will learn to style the menu. So in the menu, we have the number of the grids that is six right now. And we have the alignment that is center by default. We can change the value from here and we can increase or decrease the number of the grid from here. And if you want to have the menu item scroll bar, you can simply enable this. And we have this background tab and the default value of the background tab is actually the color. So you can change this into the gradient and the image as well. So let's change the value from here. So that would be a kind of blue color. I would go with a darker blue color here. Let's just click on the save, go back, click on the refresh. Now you will be able to see the change in the background color of our menu here. Okay, so after that we have the blur, we have the padding. So if you want to increase the padding or decrease the padding, you can also do it from here. So I think we are good here. And we can add the margin here. So let's just add the margin value 20 here. Click on the save. Now click on the refresh. Okay, so we have the margin here, we have the border and we have the border radius. So you can simply add the values here and play around with these options. So we have the item pairing, we have the item offset and we have the active border and the border radius of the item and the item background, we have the active background color. Okay, so I would simply like to change this. So right now we have this kind of light greenish color. So let's go back and you can see this, we have this uh, active icon color here. So that is kind of light greenish color so i would actually like to change this into this color okay so this will work fine and we can also change the text visibility so we can change the value to the hide show when active and hide when active and we can also change the text typography and we can also change the active text typography 
but I would keep these values like this. So let's click on the save. And now we would have a different active icon color. So if I just refresh this, you will be able to see the different active icon color here. So this is how you can customize the values here. All right. But if you want to change the icon here, so how can we do that? So you can see here, we have the same icon for the home page, FAQ, sample page, courses and about us. So how can we change the icons here? That is really easy. What you need to do is to go back inside the appearance and in the appearance, click on the menus. So for example, if I want to change the icon of the FAQ, I would just simply click here. And now you can see these options here, show icon, icon mode. All right, so we can simply change the icon here. So I want to change the active icon. So let's just click on the add icon. So since we are searching the icon for the FAQ, I think this would work fine. So let's click here. And let's just click on the icon here as well. That would be the same icon. I think this would work fine. All right, so let's just close this. In the similar way, we can also add the icon on the other options here. So let's click on the sample page. Click on the add icon. So that would be page. Okay, so let's just uh, click here. Click here again. Now let's just click on the same menu. And let's just go back to our website. Click on the refresh. You will be able to see the different icon here of the FAQ and the sample page. So this is how you can change the icon of the menu options here. So now let's click here. Okay, so now let's click on the search box. So this is actually the premium feature of the WP mobile bottom menu. Okay, so if you want to use this, you would have to use the pro version of this plugin. Now let's click on the pre-made themes. So in the pre-made theme, we are only able to use the two themes here, the dark theme that we're using right now. And we can also use the lighter theme. And other than that are actually the part of the premium version. Okay, so let's click on the leave page. All right, so now let's click on the save and go back to our website click on the refresh now you will be able to see the light theme here of our bottom menu bar all right and if i just scroll down and scroll up you will be able to see that our bottom menu is actually the sticky menu all right so this is how we can create the sticky mobile bottom menu bar so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel